Hallelujah. This is Marita Talk for you. We are looking at very important topic, what a good marriage can do for you. And the anchor scripture is in Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And the Lord God said, it is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a help meet for him. Your wife, your husband is a help meet. And just the way failure in marriage will affect many things in the life of the people involved, a good marriage will also affect the people in it positively. It will do a lot of good things to the couple. It will do a lot of good things for the children involved, people around them, your career, the church, and the society in general. Today, I want to show us things a good marriage will do for us. One, an answered prayer. Praise the Lord. A good marriage is a key to answered prayer. If you desire a quick answer to your prayer, then walk in the unity with your spouse and pray together. It is very, very important. The Bible makes it clear that this unity in marriage can be an hindrance to prayer. If you want a quick answer to your prayer, then be in oneness with your wife and with your husband. Don't allow any grudges between both of you. It is very, very important. By the time you allow grudges, you allow people to come in between you and you cannot forgive. Uh, you are promoting delay in prayer. Praise the Lord. And number two thing I want us to look at uh, on this note is that uh, it brings progress. A good marriage brings progress. And that is why Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 9 says, Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. A good marriage will bring unity that breeds breed progress, but this unity will bring battle into the camp and they bar the progress of people involved. And number three, a good marriage will give you good health. Since a good marriage brings peace of mind, good health is bound to grace the parties involved. You are bound to have good health because there won't be any cases of bitterness, anxieties, malice, unforgiveness, resentment, and hatred will be far away from your life. This toxic outcome leads to stress that affect health and well-being of the people involved. Good health is very, very important if you want to live long and get the reward of your labor. Intimate and romantic marriages always bring joy by removing loneliness and sadness, thereby boosting the overall health of the couple in a positive way. And if you want good health, then your marriage must be okay. Not only good health, a good marriage will bring good parenting. Godly children can mostly be offshoot of good marriages because when couples stand as one, it is easy for their children to follow them and be well behaved. However, when parents are not together, the children are left confused, particularly not knowing who's come to stay. This pushes the children out till they go astray. If you must raise godly children, you must build a better and stronger marriage. Praise the Lord. And uh, number five, it removes loneliness. Good marriage builds friendliness, oneness, and togetherness, thereby removing loneliness from marriage and family life. Instead of loneliness, Intimacy and binding is built, thereby bringing joy and progress. You are free to interact with each other. You have joy. 
you, the, the, your, 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 your spouse is pleasant to live with. That is what good marriage will do for you. In this part, one of this series, I will lastly talk on good marriage brings strength. And that is why in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12, though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him. It brings strength. A good marriage is the foundation of both the physical, emotional, financial, and spiritual because it leads to strength, formidability, it helps during spiritual warfare, it helps during sickness, financial limits. These are what good marriage will do for you. It will bring strength, it removes loneliness, it brings about good parenting, good health, it will give you good health, it will give you progress and an answer prayer. We shall continue on it next time. This is Pastor and Mrs. Solution of Murder on Marita Talk. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, WhatsApp channel, and you shall be richly blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.